Hi stars, welcome back to my channel. This is Lely. For today's makeup look, I decided to go in with something I like to call the CCC, which is the Christmas cut crease. Um, but I'm really excited for you guys to watch this tutorial because I had, I honestly had so much fun making this look. Christmas is my favorite holiday, and you know, just December is my favorite month of the year. <laughs> and I just, I love it. I love anything that has to do with Christmas. And so I was like, you know what? I can't wait. I want to do Christmas looks already so I did this and I really hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and if you guys want to achieve this look you guys already know what to do hi guys as you guys can see I already did my brows I primed my face and I did the left eye off camera so let's get started to prime my eyes I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline master concealer and this is number 50 To set my eye, I'm gonna go in with the banana powder from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. For today's eyeshadow look, I'm going in with two palettes. Um, the first one I'm going in with is called the Jacqueline Hill Palette and I went in with the shade called In Light and I applied it on my brow bone. I then went in with the shade called Pukey and I applied it on my crease and just made sure it was blended out. I slowly also started to wing it out uh, because it is a cut crease of course. And basically I'm just making sure it's well blended. I am going to go in with a darker brown shade in a bit. Um, it's called uh, Mocha. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing, just making sure everything is well blended because after this, I'm going to cut the crease. To cut my crease, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on the lid and open my eye really wide. And that's going to just give me the perfect location of where exactly to cut the crease i've said this a lot of times before i feel like this is the easiest way to do it um especially if you're just starting um so yeah i really recommend you guys do this um you won't regret it <laughs> The next shade I go in with is called Obsessed and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. Um, I am going to do a wing liner so I'm going to kind of like leave the area where I'm going to apply the wing liner um, blank I guess you could say. <laughs> I'm not going to apply um, the glitter eyeshadow to that because I don't want it to be mixing in with the, the concealer when I go back in with it or with the shadows you know I want it to be more of a matte liner look so i'm just gonna be really careful when applying this shade i then go back in with my makeup forever concealer and i'm just gonna sketch out the uh, wing liner um <clears throat> it was really easy to do so just because i didn't apply um the shade called obsessed on this area so i kind of just went over to the places that didn't have the shadow with the concealer i just wanted like a sticky base for when i started um for when i went in with the other shades so after this i'm gonna move on with the 35b morphe palette and the first shade i go in with is this red shade but it ends up looking pink so i'm not even I was a, a little annoyed, but I'm not even going to get into it, you know. So I just applied that. Um, and then I went in with the the yellow shade afterwards. And I applied it right next to it. And I just made sure that it was well blended. So I kept going back and forth. Because I want the transition from one shade to the other look really nice. And not just kind of like, you know, harsh. 
Um, I then go in with this light green shade and I apply it right next to the yellow shade and I kind of do the same steps again. I go back and forth just to make sure it looks well blended and the transition seems just, I don't know, perfect, I guess. <laughs> the last shade I go in with is this dark blue shade and once again, the steps repeat themselves. For eyeliner today, I went in with the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to, as you guys can see, I'm just going to apply like on the crease line that I already had. I'm kind of like tracing it. You know, I've done this with glitter before, but just, you know, I was a little nervous because it is black liner. And I felt like if I mess up, it's going to be so hard to fix this. Uh, but it turned out all right at the end. Um, anyway, to start, you know transforming this line into kind of like christmas lights i'm just gonna create smaller lines all around the crease as you guys can see i don't i'm not really like sure how to explain it that well but um you guys you know get the point <laughs> Alright guys, for this part, I'm just going to use the exact same shadows I used for the liner. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create kind of like little dots around the little lines I created around the eye, as you guys can see. And it's just going to go red, yellow, green, blue, and then red, yellow, green, blue again. So it's just going to be like a, like a cute little pattern going through like around all the eye to create the like Christmas light effect. For mascara, like always, I'm going in with my favorite mascara, which is the Rimmel London Scandalize Mascara. And for lashes, like always, I'm gonna, well, not like always, like in the last two videos, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the, these lashes in the um, style mink. And I'm gonna leave the, you know, the rest of the, like, um, details of these lashes in the description down below, just in case you guys are interested. For foundation, today I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation and today I'm using the shade T30 mixed in with the shade L40 just because T30 was like, um, I noticed it was just like a little too dark for me. So I decided to mix it in. Um, I used like two pumps of the, the T30. I know that's a lot, but I use a lot. <laughs> so, And then I used one pump of the, the L40 just because, you know, L40 is a bit too light. So, you know, I wanted to kind of even out the, the foundation color, I guess, to make it like the perfect shade for me. Um, and it still wasn't the perfect shade for me, but, you know, it looked better than... <laughs> just leaving the t30 by itself um anyway for concealer um i'm going in with the maybelline uh better skin concealer in the shade light and this is number 20 <music> To set my face, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier setting powder. To finish off the look, I'm going to go in with the same shades I used for the liner. And I'm just going to apply them on the lower lash line in the exact same order I did before, which is red slash pink <laughs> and yellow, green and blue. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with the shade called In Light from the Jaclyn Hill palette once again and just brighten up my inner corners with that shade. And then I'm going to go back in with the Rimmel London Scandalized Mascara 
you know, for the lower lashes. And for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. To bake my face, I'm gonna go back in with the Laura Mercier setting powder. While my face bakes, I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush, which is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. For highlight, like always, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty highlight in the shade Hustla Baby. I am then gonna go in with the Maybelline Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pioneer and I'm just gonna make cute little freckles around like my like cheekbones and like my nose. To finish off the look, I'm gonna go back in with the Maybelline Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pioneer and I'm just gonna apply it on my lips. Alright stars, well this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, I had so 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 much fun making this for you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me reach 150 subscribers. That way you guys have an opportunity to win $100. Anyway, with that being said, thank you so much once again. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and excuse my nails by the way. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, see you guys next time.